You know, John, uh, I learned something today. What is that, Bastard? I learned about the mercy rule. What? What's the mercy rule? You know, that's when TechCrunch asked you to do anything else but to accept an award. It means that you <laughs> did not win that thing. <laughs> Well, you know, as a conciliation prize, if you wanted to give Chelsea your number, I think she's looking for it. Sure, it's 415-939-0318. There you go. And now I believe we have an award to present. All right, so, let's so. get on with this. From spacecrafts to new forms of energy, the Best Technology Award honors the greatest technology achievements and brilliant minds behind them. These products reflect true excellence in their fields and are too cool to take your eyes off of. The category is like tech porn. Here are the finalists. 3D? Yeah. 3D Touch. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Apple's latest interface breakthrough, sensing pressure applied on the surface of the phone to add a new layer to the touchscreen experience. Microsoft HoloLens, a holographic nerd helmet that breaks the barrier between the virtual world and the real one through augmented reality. The Space X Falcon 9, <laughs> the first commercial rocket ship to send cargo to the International Space Station. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> Eventually, it will launch humans into space too. Tesla's over-the-air autopilot. A software, come on, seriously, that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. A software good. update that gives Tesla customers the ability to summon their car. It can self-park, turn itself on and off, and even control the garage door. Yeah, I got all the good ones. Yeah, you did get the good ones. Transatomic fucking power. Jesus, with an F-bomb. Ditching the light water reactor for the molten salt reactor, converting nuclear waste into low-cost, clean, sweet electricity. That is actually really cool. And the runner-up is... And I open an envelope. And the runner-up is... Tesla over the air autopilot. And the winner is SpaceX Falcon 9. To me. Uh, I'm not Elon Musk, but I wish I was. Um, I'm one of his investors and board members on both those companies, Tesla and SpaceX, and I got to tell you, it's one of the greatest joys of my life to be able to work with him. Um, when you think about SpaceX and what they've accomplished this year, when reusing the booster, landing it the way we expected it to, like in comic books, you know, with rocket engines on other worlds, it really does take your breath away. Um, we're working with entrepreneurs every day at DFJ, and they all want to change the world, but, you know, what are we... Uh... Anyway. I think it's more important to think about like the big things, and, and Elon wants to change other worlds, right? He, th he thinks Mars is a fixed rubber planet. He's, if you think about the opening, when you have like the bone in 2001 Space Odyssey, and you throw it up and it becomes a space station, that's exactly what he's doing, right? He's going to have regularly scheduled trips to Mars, and to reduce that cost, he's making the booster reusable, where it'll be 100 times cheaper than it is today, and he's going to take a million people to Mars. This is, this is kind of uh, the stuff of our dreams, and I think. Obviously, and we think about technology accomplishments to be both the winner and the runner-up. Uh, I just going to give three cheers to Elon Musk and everything he's done. Thank you. Thank you.